but the Jacklins claim they are the real victims of injustice. The couple have been told by police they could even face jail if they are perceived by any person to be looking into any neighbor's property. They have also been banned from walking directly to the beach past their neighbor's home, just a fence away, because it now forms part of an exclusion zone imposed on them. They say the exclusion zone means, if we walk through the village we have to keep our heads hung low, we can't walk through and from the beach or through the village without fear of being prosecuted. The Jacklins, both 55, have lived in their five-bedroom home yards from the sea in the hamlet of Normans Bay, near Bexhill on Sea, East Sussex, for 26 years. Five years ago clinical psychologist Stefan Duckett and his partner, artist Norim Betjeman, bought a 120-year-old disused workshop between the Jacklins house and the beach. The couple from London then set about converting it into a £400,000 weekend holiday home. The Jacklins are made a series of complaints about their new neighbours, including allegations about noisy builders, verbal abuse and light pollution. However, the Jacklins themselves were then investigated by Rother District Council over counterclaims that they were annoying the newcomers. After a formal police interview last December the Jacklins were given the warning letter on January 25th, it says their conduct was having the effect of harassing neighbors within the Normans Bay Area. The letter threatens that if they continued, the council would issue them with a community protection notice under Section 48 of the Antisocial Behavior, Crime and Policing Act. Breaching the notice can lead to a fine and repeated failures to comply can even lead to prison. The letter also bans the Jacklins from contacting Dr. Duckett and Ms. Betchelman. By any means, solicitors for father of two Mr. Jacklin have told Sussex police they will challenge the warning letter via a judicial review. And the marketing expert yesterday said that he and his wife would fight the ruling all the way. He said, the police failed to investigate our side of the story. They treated us like criminals, Mr. Jacklin claimed. Their new neighbors began objecting to their presence soon after buying the workshop. He said, we used to sit on a log on the beach at the back of their property. They would see us, come out of their kitchen and film us. They've never spoken to us about the issue of where we go or approached us saying they don't. Like what we do, Rother District Council said the warning letter was issued on its behalf, in an attempt to resolve a long-standing neighborhood dispute, Dr. Duckett and Ms. Betjeman declined to comment.